Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We do have a bunch. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Today is Sarah and I, mine's eyes. I don't know the English language. Writing, speaking, reading, none of it. Um, it's our seventh wedding anniversary today. And I mean, I was, we were cracking jokes this morning because we, we like the movie seven, 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 seven Year Itch. I do, we just love this, the funny joke was, the simple band of gold. Um, hilarious movie, hilarious. So uh, I actually just ditched work. I was like, you know what? I'm leaving work early. I'm gonna hang out with my family, hang out, celebrate my wedding and my marriage with my best friend. So um, what I did, as I told my team, told my boss, that, hey, peace out. And I'm taking James on a nap walk, trying to get him to fall asleep. Sometimes we do this to get him to fall asleep for his daytime nap. So that's what we're doing. Obviously, when you walk by uh, marijuana dispensaries, that are always colorful, that kind of keeps them awake. So we're gonna take a turn, go down the street, look at beautiful buildings, and hopefully he'll fall asleep. piece of Chicago engineering real life innovation this building super old probably got to be over 100 it used to be right here next to the L this is the red and purple upgrades they're gonna tear that down and replace that with this new cement track but they actually had to detach that building from its foundation raise it up and shift it a couple yards that way and then drop it to its new home so here's the new i haven't seen this angle yet but here's the new track when it gets fully fully done i think they are going to dismantle this old really beautiful look and here comes the train now how about that Ooh, it's getting very drizzly out it's actually supposed to drop 10 degrees in the next five hours but the breeze off the lake is already feeling quite a bit different, which can only mean storms might be coming. <gasps> Hi. Teddy's discovered his eyebrows. Let's see if he'll do it. <gasps> Just smiles. Oh, there they go. Woke up from your nice nap. Your parents have been married seven years. Wow. He did one eyebrow. Oh. Oh. Look who woke up from his nap. He woke up from his nap and demanded plush. Now he's demanding the pirates get played. Ready, Jamesy? One, two, three. Oh, are you so happy? You need a diaper change. <laughs> Making me chase you. Got a regular shirt on top, gym pants on the bottom. We're watching the electrical parade. Hi, happy kid. He's so sweet. So we <laughs> just painstakingly decided that we're going to eat at home tonight and we're going to go to the Cubs game. I had to pause um, the electrical parade real quick. I am sorry if it was loud in the last part of the clip. Um, so basically, this is our no spend August option, but also an option that we, we like. You're gonna get hit by the swing. He's confused as to why it's paused, um, which does make me happy. It is like, it is a great, it's a great option because we're sticking to things and it's all close and we're gonna be on our own timeline. And Peter's making breakfast for dinner and he loves to cook breakfast. That's like his thing. Um, 
but the other uh, end of the spectrum was going out downtown because we we said if we were gonna if we were gonna spend money it would be for our anniversary this month we were gonna break our our no spending challenge um and Maggiano's is where we got married that's where we had our wedding reception so we were gonna go out to eat there stroll downtown um but we are picking we were picking this option which i'm very happy with but as you can tell we were very pulled in a lot of different directions you you be careful over here i'm very very happy with this option however i had conceded to the possibility of the other option so i'm proud of us are you proud of us okay i'll get this parade back on for him i'm gonna play Oh, Peter cooks. He kicking you. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Woohoo! Might have found our new favorite parade. Festival of Fantasies number one. <sighs> Sadly, it's leaving Disneyland before we'll even get to show ya. I just had the most Chicago thing ever. Well, first of all, we're going to Wrigley. Mm -hmm. Game started about 20 minutes ago. I'm not sure how it's going yet, but. I haven't gotten any notifications. Yeah, maybe it's delayed. For what reason? Being too beautiful out? I don't know. Say, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Say, let's go. Sarah just said that the most Chicago thing ever. Oh, we found buttons? that he has buttons on his jacket. So we have to stop and check that out. <laughs> Game already started, you know. Um, so it was like most Chicago thing ever. Ninety like three degrees the other day. Hottest game in forever. Two days later, wearing jackets. Oh. oh, sorry. You gotta hold his hand on. So that's where we're going. Off to Wrigley. We walk in and there's a home run. Second of the inning. You know what they say? Those cotton candy skies. <laughs> oh, Perfect night. To be at Wrigley Field, friendly confines. James might be done sitting around watching the game. Check it out, we got Clark. Woohoo! We're gonna see if James is gonna meet him. Seems excited. Seems excited. Alright, that didn't go. It was exciting until we got next to Clark. And then, uh, it wasn't too good. We got a sticker out of it. So that's a good time, right? Hi. You cozy? So let me hear you! All you Cub fans, Star Wars fans, and fans of light in general, a one, a two, a three, take me out to the wall. Now I got 
this little one. Gotta change his diaper. And we got to meet Clark too. posted it on the Fat Five Two Hundred Seven back in 2016 and it's been featured in a couple of vlogs from the Brooker Project over the years but it's just something we like to watch all the time and we also like to watch it on our anniversary because it was like the greatest day of our life you know some people will say like your kids being born is the greatest day of your life and all these other things too but to me like this is the epitome of all of that for Sarah and I. Such a fun, 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 fun day. I honestly, I tell Sarah this, I tell everybody this, but I do tell Sarah this quite often that I think about our wedding day every single day. It's not an exaggeration. That's not me trying to be cheesy on my anniversary. I literally think about our wedding day every single day, at least once a day. At some point in my day, I think about our wedding day because it just was the greatest day of my life. Yeah. It was? I just wish I ate more of our dinner. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing. When Sarah, when the cards were over the other day, Christina, we were like reminiscing about our wedding and Christina like brought up like a couple like little minor little things. Like our, our head table almost fell. It there was, did fall. We caught it. Yeah. And then, like, our DJ was, like, a last-minute step in, and, like, he wasn't letting little kids put on songs, and he also wasn't, like, finishing songs. He did not even play, like, what he was supposed to. Like, he didn't play, like... But he's still a decent DJ. Yeah. And then, like, we talked to him, and then he fixed his way. So, like... Yeah. The, like, there was, of course, little hiccups, as there always is, but, like... Our priest... The most... He didn't know... <laughs> he didn't have the right address, and so we thought he was going to be there to do, like, the prayer at dinner, and we were, like... Where is he? And so my mom just did the word. <laughs> there was, um, yeah. But I think Christina also just like wanted it to be like the perfect day for us. And I think it was. Yeah. It was. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>